Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Steam Train. I hope you guys are all doing well. It's Friday, and I'm Mr. Dorian with New Minds, and I hope you guys are excited. Today is Friday, so we're going to do some brain games. So we're going to do some really fun activities, and all of them have to do with memory today. If you don't know what memory is, it's just when you can think of something that you've already seen before, and how good your memory is will determine how well you can remember things. Some people actually have what's called a photographic memory, where they see everything like a picture and they rem remember everything perfectly. That's super rare, but a lot of us have a good memory or we can practice and get a better one. The first thing we're gonna do is a really simple game. All you need, well actually let's check our supplies first. Let's see everything that's in here. Let's see what our boxes brought us today. Brought us a box of crowns, something to color with. I think I only need two colors, so I just got a blue and an orange. I'm gonna put these away. I got three plastic cups that aren't see-through. I can't see through these, they're a solid color. I got some sticky notes. I think we're gonna do some memory games where you have to draw. So any small paper, you can even cut up a scratch piece of paper that you've already used to get something like this. Scissors, like always and something to write with. It looks like my box also left me some some of my favorite picture books that I had as a kid. There's a reason why we need these. And also, you might want your bucket of construction paper you haven't fully used yet, things you've cut apart a little bit. You might want to reuse some of this for today's projects. So our first memory game only actually uses the three cups. This is a really quick memory game. It's not that hard, but it's a good one to get started. How you play this game is you have three cups. And you put something under one of the cups. Our brave volunteer here is going to go under one of the cups. Goodbye, sir. So we know he's in the middle cup. All we're gonna do for this game is without picking up the cups, because that will reveal the secret, is we're gonna shuffle them around we're going to have someone pay attention and see if they can remember which cup he was in. So we know he's in the middle. If I switch these, he's on the left. He's not in the middle anymore. Remember, when you're shuffling these and you're trying to play this game, you don't want to pick up the cups. If you pick up the cup like this, people know there's nothing under it. Or they know there's something under it. So now he's in the left cup. I'm going to shuffle it. Let's see if he can figure out which cup he's in. I'm going to go slow, and then we're going to do a hard round. Which cup do you think he's in? Okay, that's a good guess. Let's see. Cup one. He's not there. Cup two. <gasps> there he is. Right back in the middle. It's not because he started there. He just got shuffled and ended up back in that spot. If you want to make this game harder, you can use more cups. And if you want to make the game easier, you use only two cups. Are you guys ready for a hard round? Here we go. Which cup do you think he's in? Do you think it's cup one? Cup two, or cup three? Let's look under cup three. Let's look under cup one. <gasps> there he is. Let's see if you got that right. The next thing we're going to do is a game about remembering pictures. The cool thing is that I'm going to show you two examples, but there's a lot of things you can use to play this game over and over again. We actually have a super helpful 
video editor who helps us. She's behind the scenes, so you won't get to see her. But she's going to play this game along with us, and we're going to see how close she gets to. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you a picture for 10 seconds. I want you to remember as much of it as you can. And try and draw all the things the exact same as you saw them. This is where you're going to want your sticky notes or your small paper. And you're just going to try and draw it to your best. Things don't have to be the perfect size or anything, but as long as you get all the important features. The more detailed, the better. Is everybody ready? I'm going to show you the picture. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Don't draw it yet, just look at it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now you should have remembered the picture. See how much of it you can remember and draw the same. Go ahead, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to draw as much as you can. Think about what were the characters in the picture. What was in the sky and how many of them were there? What was under the characters? Did the characters wear anything? How many arms and legs did things have? I'm going to give you guys five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So here's what we're going to do. Keep track on your fingers, look at your picture, and we're going to tell you what you get points for. Don't draw any more, let's just see how well you remember. If you drew two birds in the sky, you get a point. If you drew the sun, you get a point. If you drew sunglasses on the sun, you get another point. If you drew a stick figure, you get a point. If you drew the dog, you get a point. If you drew the dog with only three legs, you get a point. If you drew a curly tail on the dog, you get a point. If you drew eyes and ears on the dog, you get a point. How many points did you get? I'm going to show you the picture one more time so you can compare to yours. The sun had sunglasses, he didn't have a mouth. There were two birds. The dog only had three legs, a curly tail, eyes and ears, and this dude didn't have anything extra and there was nothing on the ground. So this was our practice round. Let's see how you guys do on the real round. The real round, you're going to need two colors. Color one and color two. If you want to do yours the same as mine, I used orange and purple. If you're watching this back on newminds.tv, go ahead and pause now. Get the supplies you need if you want to use orange and purple. If you're watching live, I'm going to give you a minute while I show you the picture, and you'll have time to grab the supplies. I'm actually going to hand my colors off to our video editor so she can draw hers. But is everybody ready? This picture is going to be just as simple, but it's going to have two colors. You not only have to draw everything in the right place, you have to draw the right colors. Is everyone ready? Three, two, one. Remember, when I show it to you, don't draw it yet. Try and remember it, and then draw it as soon as I put the picture down. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, is that showing up? And time starts. Actually, this won't show up. Hold on. It's just a blank page to you guys. Okay. We'll skip this one for now. We'll do something different. But this is a game you can play with your family. The screen's a little bit bright, so my colors don't show up quite as well. But here's another way you can play. And it's a good thing I brought this, because not everything works out perfectly. That's all right. I brought some old picture books. And the cool thing about these books is that they have pictures on the cover. This is called Harry the Dirty Dog. It's about a dog who gets really dirty in a factory and he meets his brother, but they don't know their brother because he's so dirty and he's so clean, and they look completely different. The cool thing is that this book has two pictures on it. 
You can play the same game with your own books, and you can play this game as many times as you want. So you put the book face down, you go, okay, I'm gonna look at it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, count all the way to 10. Put it down, and then try and draw as much as you can. Then what you do is you look at it and be like, okay, how much did I get? I got the dogs, I drew his eyes, I didn't draw the spots under his nose, I forgot those. And you can play this game using memory with any books you have, and you can even just use pictures online. Maybe you find a picture of a dinosaur that you really like. Then you can pull up the picture, close it really quick, and see how close you could draw it. You don't have to be perfect at drawing. It's not about how well you draw it. It's about the points you remember. So if you remember like freckles, or if you remember the eyes, or if you remember to draw a nose, and that kind of thing. So we're gonna play one more round with this book, Where the Wild Things Are. This is actually a really old original one. You can tell because it doesn't have the Cavalcott medal on it. So this is a really, really old copy. This is like 20 years old. I had this when I was a kid. And the cool thing is that it's got really awesome pictures in it. So I don't just have to play on the first page on the cover. I can play on any page. But I'm gonna show you guys the back cover. We're gonna see how much you can remember in 10 seconds. Now I'm going to play the same thing along with you, because I haven't looked at this book in a long time. And go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. Go ahead and draw as much as you remember. I put mine, the side I was looking at, down, so I can't actually see it anymore. Let's see. I remember there were some of these. They kind of look like this. I think there was this many of them. I think there was one of these on the picture. I think this guy was there. I think that's it. I'm going to give you guys a couple more seconds before I show you the picture again, if you're playing along at home or you're watching on New Minds TV. If you need more time to draw, you can always pause the video and catch up with this in a minute. But here is the picture again. It has three trees. It's got the moon on it. It's got a river. And it's got flower on the bottom. And it's got like a bush in the background. So I actually didn't remember that much. There's actually four trees. I don't even notice. There's one, two, three, and there's one different tree. So I drew three trees and the moon. So I got four things. I got each of the trees and the moon. I missed a tree, I missed a flower, I missed a river, I missed a bush. So I got four points. And you can play this game with any page of any picture book, or you can play it with any picture you find online, maybe a famous painting, a picture you have in your house. You can look at it for 10 seconds, go in another room and try and draw as much as you can. And that's a cool memory game. You can play with almost no supplies, just a little bit of small paper. But you can play this with just cut up pieces of construction paper, an old piece of paper that's just a little tatter left. You can take your graph paper that we use from a different day. You can use some of that, even though it's cut up. Just cut out a small square to draw a picture on. You can do anything with this game. Now I'm going to show you one more, more traditional memory game, but it is cool that you can make it at home. All you need to do is get some sort of scrap paper. I'm going to use Make sure they're all the same color. So I'm gonna use this red piece that I cut out. I don't remember, I think this was for my mask I cut out. So I'm gonna use this red piece. And the first thing you need to do is cut out an even number of squares. I would make about eight on the low end, but you can go up to 16 if you really wanna make a lot. I'm gonna make eight just for today, because it's gonna be a little bit quicker. So what I'm gonna do is cut out some squares, So the easy way I like to do it is I like to cut out a strip, and then I cut this strip into two strips. And then I cut those strips together so they're all the same size. So I can go, boom, I have two, four, six, eight, and 10. I actually ended up with 10, so I guess I'm using 10. And this game is pretty cool. Construction paper works best because you can't see through it as well as you can with regular white paper. All you need to do is draw 
sets of two pictures. So on this one, I'm going to draw two stars. So a star of one and a star of another. This next set, I'm going to draw my next picture. I think I'm going to make it a happy face. I think of this next picture, I'm going to draw a bucket of fries. And the pictures don't matter as much as that they match. You can even draw numbers if you want. Like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Just something you know you can match up and you know looks different. You don't draw a star and then a more pointy star. Draw things that look very different. Like a smiley face, french fries, a star. I think this next one, I'm going to draw a circle. Just a circle. And on my last one, let's see. I think I'm going to draw a cube. Just like our friend here. He's a cube. It's not about how well you draw. It's about how the pictures are different. You can even do different squiggles like this one is. Or even different letters if you'd like. So now I have... 10 pieces and five unique pictures. So each one has two. So there's two cubes, two circles, two fries, two smiley faces, two stars. You get the picture. All you have to do now is flip them all over on the back side so you can't see any of the pictures. Have somebody, so you can either turn your arm or close your eyes, have them mix them up. And then you get to play memory. And this is one you made with just a scratch piece of paper that you weren't using anymore. It's really easy to play this game. All you need to do is flip one over. So right now I got a french fry. Leave it flipped over and try and find a second one. I think the other french fry is this piece. Nope, that's a cube. If you get it wrong, you flip them both over. And you start over. So I'm gonna flip this over. Ooh, I found a cube. Now I think I know where the other cube is. I think it was this one, so I'm going to flip it over. And it was. If you get a match, you just set it to the side. And then you keep going until you found all the matches. French fries. Was this one the other french fries? It was. I found my two french fries. There we go. Let's see what this middle one is. Ooh, a circle. I don't know where the circle could be, but I'm going to guess this one. Ooh, that's a star. So once you have two flipped over and they don't match, you flip them back. That way you're looking at all the backs again. Let's see what this one is. That's a smiley face. I know this one's a star and this one's a circle, so it's got to be one of these three. I'm going to guess this one. Ooh, that's a circle, so I'm going to flip these back. Now I know where my two circles are. I know it's this one, flip it over, and this one, flip it over. Boom, I got it. And let's see, there's four left. This one is a smiley face. I think this one's the other smiley face if I remember right. There we go. Now there's one pair left, there's two cards, so you know they're gonna match, hopefully, unless you made something weird. But now I have two stars. And that is three awesome brain games you can play to help work on your memory. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's lesson and thank you for tuning in with Real Inspired Learning with New Minds. Keep practicing your passions until they become your talents and I hope you guys all have a wonderful Friday.